Oh no. That... Oh, okay, that's a death. Um, awesome, I guess. Hello everyone, it's me, Jayski Bean, and welcome to Bloodbath Bay. It's a game by Suits and Nukes, and this is actually the demo build for it. I got it off of Game Jolt, and it's made with the Unity engine. It it looks like it's heavily inspired by like goosebumps and stuff like that, but it, it may be a little bit of a parody. But the description on the website says that it's inspired by like there's there's some goosebumps uh, Easter eggs in here from what I've seen. And it's inspired heavily by Silent Hill, which is actually really cool. Like, I'm, I'm really excited to get into this. Get into this. Uh, and Suits and Nukes are actually the same people who made a game, The Littlest Penguin, which I don't think I've played on the channel, but it's actually pretty good. So we're going to pop right on into it. And I think it's got controller support, too, so. It's loud. Hey, that's me, isn't it? Look at that guy. I hope this music's not copyrighted. I mean, we'll find out, but... It's probably not. I don't think he'd use the... Uh, I, mean, I mean, we'll see. You never know. It looks a lot like... The graphics feel like uh, Borderlands. Like Borderlands-esque graphics. Like the really thick outlines and stuff. Southside to Donnie. Min Donnie? Can you hear us down there? Send up two signals if we're coming in clear. Whoa. What? Okay. That's an affirmation. Comms are established and operational. Patching in the commander now. All right. I don't oh. want to remind anyone of the importance regarding the thought. We just get it done quickly. And we'll be on hand for extraction. Good hunting down there. We're counting on you. Good hunting. On the surface, it was like something from a damn horror show. Corpses were climbing out of their graves and feasting on the living. Diving solo could be considered one of the more reckless things a person could subject themselves to. But given the situation. It almost felt safer down here. Peaceful, even. I like the calm before the storm. Okay. So I'm a hunter. I'm an undersea hunter. So am I hunting monsters or what? It looks really red. It's like blood red. Uh, what was the shoot button again? Like, there, there's a shoot button, right? Can I pause it? I can't pause it either. Oh, select did something. What'd it do? Oh, okay. I guess that's pause. It is the demo. So, I mean... I don't know. Let's go. It looks great. It looks really good. The uh, camera sensitivity is up there, though. It looks hard to control. But actually, for for a demo in an indie game, very nice. Uh, so what exactly am I looking for? I'm just kind of wandering around. There's a snail count on the top right hand side. And look at that mini map. That mini map is nice. I guess all 3D and stuff. I feel like I'm actually in the game. Like I'm actually here, underwater. No, I'm not actually. Like I'd, I'd probably freak out if I was like, you know, I've never been scuba diving or anything, and this this would probably probably freak me out a little bit. So nothing's happening. I'm just I'm just kind of wandering around in the oceans. Oh, I go this way. Is this is this the way? I have to find a way on my own. <laughs> Show me the way. <laughs> oh, wrong game. I don't have VR chat. I don't have any kind of VR. And I wish it did. What is that? I see something in the distance. Is that, is that the fish? Do I have to jump? Huh! Oh, yeah. Okay, so what? Okay. It's going to show me. Remember. We're after those glowing sea snails we briefed you on earlier. Okay. We're going to need no less than about 30 of those little buggers if we aim to synthesize a successful treatment. I had read the dossier. These snails weren't usually so easy to find. Something about their mating season drove them from the rocks. Okay. I was right to attract the mate. Little of it mattered. I had my own reasons for taking on this job. <laughs> okay. Cool. A uh, nice story, like an underlying story so far. I feel like something's happening. So you definitely know the snails when you see them, even from a distance. They're all glowy and stuff. So you gotta collect 30 snails, and it will be alright. We're gonna be okay. Just, just hang in there. Uh, it's like underwater children of the corn, but it's okay. We're fine. 
Uh, I know, I know something's gonna go down, as the name suggests. It's gonna get intense. I haven't died yet. Nothing crazy's popped out. Uh, boing! It's just underwater exploring. A nice little platformer where I guess I can shoot, but none of these buttons are working. So, alley -oop. Yeah! We're good jumpings. That's all that's happening so far, though. Like, that's a long way to run. We can make it. I really like the water particle effects on the ocean floor. That's nice. Even though we're, like, really deep. Because you can't even see the top. So what's this? Donnie, we're picking up that you are nearing the proximity to the Santa Ana Gulch. During the war, this area was host to some intense naval skirmishes. I know you're working with low visibility, but you might come across some leftover sea mines. If you do, they can be set as checkpoints. Oh, checkpoints? Seeing as so many lives were lost, locals started calling the area Bloodbath Bay. Ah. Just stuck. Okay, that makes sense. Um, that makes sense. Bloodbath Bay. So, maybe the name doesn't suggest that it's going to be a horror game. Maybe it's just an adventure story thing. I, don't know. I feel like this place is huge, though. A hit! Oh, yep, there's a ship right there. A right there. I haven't seen any kind of wildlife, though, besides the snails. It's just open water. Alright, nothing, nothing. PC is actually running this game pretty well too. Like I didn't think it was gonna. It's been giving me issues lately. So I, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. So uh, I went to the doctor's office today. I had a doctor's appointment for you know like a yearly checkup and everything. And they took blood to run some tests and everything. And they took way more vials than I thought they were going to. And oh, there's something. There's a thing. What's that? Can I shoot it? Hey. Hi. Oi. Hello there. Should, should I? I mean, it didn't go for me, so... Okay, whatever. At least I found wildlife. So anyway, they took way more blood than I thought they were going to. And... Whoa, is that a zombo? Is that a zombie? We got underwater zombies? So anyway, they took way more blood <laughs> than I thought they were going to, and I ended up blacking out. And the thing about blacking out when somebody takes a lot of your blood is it just... It's... It's quick. It's just I can't snap. So forgive me, forgive me for not being able to snap. But anyway, it, it I don't know where. I just I got whoa. That thing's attacking me. That thing is going for me. Oh boy. So how do I? Am I supposed to? Can I shoot? Whoa! Press X to escape. Oh, like the key X or? I, I press the key. X. Oh, why it's all glitchy now? Oh snap. Oh. Eh. Oh. Oh, why is it doing this? Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Is it really, like... Whoa! Eh? Whoa. Oh, my God! Where'd he even come from? Is there, is there no way to shoot? Is he gonna come for me? Like, indefinitely? Is he just gonna be patrolling it? I don't know. So many questions! I don't know what's going on! <laughs> okay. So, the game's getting a little glitchy, as you guys can see. Oh, I gotta need 30 of these? So, is there is there a way to get back to the main menu? Is there a, a like, a tab? No, sh sh uh, space, enter. Uh, click? Clicky? Oh. Oh, right click to aim. How do I shoot? Left click to shoot. Okay, I made. Whoa! Uh, did I die? I think I died. The screen. <laughs> okay, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put the controller down because the controller is not very reliable. I think I'm better off just using the mouse and keyboard. Oh, you can sprint and everything. Oh, dude, yeah. Screw the controller. This controls. Okay, I can I can shoot now. So you can shoot, just not <laughs> with the controller. But these fish, they. They come out of nowhere. Just gotta keep an eye out. Alright, that's that's way better. Sprinting is way better. Alright, 
right, stay away from me, bro. Uh, I don't want any. So, they don't die as easy as I would like. Like, he didn't die at all. Like, that was not a thing. So, but yeah, sorry about the glitchiness. That's a, it's a demo still. Like, still early access and everything. It's still in development. Eh, get up there. So, where are you? Oh, it's a mine. It's a mine. Go, go get it, bro. Oh, don't tell me you're stuck. <laughs> don't be stuck. Okay. So I guess I'm going the right way. Collect all of the sea snails. Oh, jeez. Uh, X. X. I'm pressing X. Uh, die, bro. Oh, I don't have any harpoons. Oh, I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I just need to run. Okay. So did I finish my story about the- What? How, how am I supposed to avoid that? Like, he just teleported. Hit! Oh, no. That <laughs> okay, that's death. Um, awesome, I guess. So anyway, my story about the hospital, they ended up taking a lot more blood, and I ended up passing out. And I- it happened really quickly, and I woke up to... Oh god. No! <laughs> Come on, stop! Am I out of lives yet? <laughs> Do I run out of lives, like, at all? So anyway, I woke up to... Everybody is like... I don't know about freaking out, but they're all like standing over me, like they pick me up and move me into another- What am I supposed to do about you? Like, can, is, can, is there a thing? Like, I can't shoot it. I can dodge roll. Can I, can I dodge him? Am I out of- do I have sprint juice? Uh, oh, come on! I'm not even close to him! He's like teleporting on top of me! Anyway, everybody was kind of sort of freaking out, but not really freaking out because they're professionals and I- Oh, oh, there's another one. Is that- is that the case? Is there really another? Not another. I can't handle another. But anyway, they're professionals, so they weren't really freaking out. They were kind of freaking out a little bit. They ended up picking me up, moving me to another chair. Oh, what is that? Is that a- Oh, it's a chest! Okay. Uh. Oh, that was, uh, harpoons. Okay, that's good. Harpoons are good. Let's jump back to this side. Hopefully not get attacked by the thing again. Oh, I could have ran up here and had like a wait. Oh, come on. Of course he killed me. Of course, of course. Of course, okay, I'll, I'll go through one more time. Like, this is the checkpoint, but... Is, is there anywhere? I want to kill my first fish. I want to get my first kill. I'm gonna go this way, because it looks like there's a snail over here. Yes, definitely. Whoa! What the... Where'd that come from? I'm pressing X. And... Sh yeah, get some. Are you dead? No, I'm out! <laughs> I'm out! There's no way! Okay, well I need to run this way then. I think. I don't know. Is this where I came from? No. Okay. He's gonna get me again. They teleport on top of you. There's like no physics to it. They just get ya. Like, I got six. That's good, right? <gasps> no! Oh, no. Well, you know what? That That's enough of that. That's enough of Bloodbath Bay. The game looks good. It's a really pretty game. Uh, obviously it's early development build, so it's not going to be as... See what I mean? Like, th there's glitches and stuff. You die really easy. You run out of ammo really easy. Uh, I got stuck in that really crazy flashy glitch thing earlier, so... Other than that, it's a good game. It's a great idea for a game, and I actually really do like it, and I'm looking forward to seeing it in higher development stages and everything. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you slap that like button underneath the video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.
I like how none of the threats in the game were actually zombies.